Book 1, Proposition 11 of Euclid's Elements is a construction proof that essentially focuses on creating perpendicular lines. So to draw a straight line at right angles to a given straight line from a given point on it. So what this is saying is that if we start with some straight line, which we can call AB, then at some point C, we want to create a perpendicular line. Or in other words, we need to create a line such that this angle here and this angle here are both right angles. So to start this proof, what we want to do is to pick a point at random on the line AC. So let's pick this point here, which we can call D, and then using book one, proposition three, where if you have two lines of unequal length, we can cut off a portion of the bigger line equal to the smaller line. So let's cut off from this line CB a portion equal to the line CD. And we can label this point E. So essentially we have that the line DC is equal to the line CE. Next, we want to use book one Proposition 1 to construct an equilateral triangle between the points D, E, and a third point, which we'll call F. So let's construct this triangle between D, E, and this point up here, which we'll call F. And then we want to construct a line between the points F and C. And we can do this using postulate number 1, so we just created. FC. And from here we can notice some things about the two triangles FDC and FCE. So what we can notice is that the line FD and FE are equal to each other because the triangle FDE is equilateral. And we also know that the line DC is equal to the line CE. And we know that these two triangles share this third side here, FC. And due to book one, proposition eight, we know that if two triangles share three pairs of equal sides, then we know that the angles within that triangle are equal as well. Or in other words, this angle here is equal to this angle here. So we have that angle DCF, is equal to angle ECF. And to finish this proof, we need to use definition number 10 of Euclid's 23 definitions. So let's find definition number 10, which is right up here. So when a straight line set up on a straight line makes the adjacent angles equal to one another, each of the equal angles is right and the straight line standing on the other is called a perpendicular to that on which it stands. So basically what this is saying is that if we have two lines, one coming off of the other, and if this angle and this angle are equal, then both of these angles are actually right angles, which we usually denote with this box here. So these would both be right angles. And we would say that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. So with that in mind, we can go back to our triangle here and notice that we've just proven that this angle here is equal to this angle here. And we know because of definition 10 that if we have these two lines, AB and FC, and if these two angles are equal, then these two angles are actually right angles and these two lines AB and FC we could say they're perpendicular and often you'll see a symbol that looks like this to denote perpendicularity but since our goal was just to construct a line that's perpendicular to AB we know that we're finished and we can end this construction with QEF